This is the implementation of a social studies lesson plan with a group of third grade students. The objective for this lesson was to set the foundation for students to become good citizens. My teaching style was based on the social development theory of Lev Vygotsky, which states that a child's development is associated to social interaction and that cognition is a product of socialization and social behavior. The ultimate goal for this lesson is for the students to be able to socialize in the most effective way, consequently acquiring higher cognition levels. Okay, let me tell you how proud, proud, proud I am of uh, all of you, okay? And especially one thing that happened the week before we went to uh, the break, I saw something that impressed me. I saw Miguel finding a dollar bill and automatically Without anybody asking him, he said, whose bill is this? And he gave it back to Vicky. Did he ask, did he ask himself the, the question, am I doing the right thing? Absolutely he did. Was I proud? I was very proud. And that's precisely what we're going to talk about today, OK? Um, as an example, I'm going to use this man that throughout his entire life asked himself that question. Am I doing the right thing? You all know this question. You all ask yourselves this question all the time, and this guy did. His name is Cesar Chavez. This guy was so good, was such a good citizen, that there are many, many schools that throughout the United States that have his name. And I'm going to show you an image of a what kind of things do you think that man did in order for him to have a school named after him? Okay, I want to let you talk to your table, talk about what you think, what are the things that he did that deserved his name to be on many, many schools, okay? Am I doing the right thing? That question will help you all throughout your life, okay? All throughout your life, that question is going to help you. Okay, this is, this is Cesar Chavez, and this is a very important man in, in uh, American history, and he did very, very good things for a particular kind of people, for migrant farmers, people that pick up crops and harvest goods from the fields. And he dedicated most of his life to helping people. And let's, let's read and find out about the life of Cesar Chavez in this. Uh, Cesar helped Mexican-Americans become United States citizens. He also helped them sign up to vote. Now, Cesar was ready to help make life better for migrant farm workers. What were some of the things he started doing? He was helping, he, teaching them how to vote. And all of those things are good for people because that helps them have freedom and have uh, better lives. So right from the start, when he met uh, Fred and Cesar started working for Fred, by the way, Cesar start, started doing good things for people. So after, after uh, listening to this book, did he do all these things? Did he help others? Yes. Uh, did he do important yes, things? Yes. What was the most important thing that he always did? So, for asking himself the right question, is that uh, is did that help him become a good a good citizen? Yes. yes. In which ways? Like he always do the right. Thing. Say that again? He always did the right thing. He always did the right thing. And what's one thing that he also did? Help, yeah. help, 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 help the other people. He helped the other people win. He helped other people have better lives. I want you guys to always ask 
yourself that question. Am I doing the right thing? And when you help others, like that one time Miguel helped uh, Vicky get her money back, I'm pretty sure he felt good about, about himself. So helping others makes you happy. And asking yourself the right question makes you a good citizen. So remember to always, always ask yourself that question. Am I doing the right thing?